everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to identify the parts of a quadratic function given a graph. So, let's define quadratic function. A quadratic function is a second-degree polynomial having a standard form of f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to zero. Let's identify the parts of a quadratic function. So the graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola. We have a parabola opening upwards and a parabola opening downwards. So we have the vertex. The vertex of a parabola is the highest or the lowest point, also known as the maximum or minimum of a parabola. The vertical line that cuts our parabola is called the axis of symmetry. So it intersects the vertex and divide the parabola into two equal parts. Next, we have the x-intercept. The x-intercept are the points at which the parabola passes through the x-axis. And we have the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is the point at which the parabola passes through the y-axis. Last one is the maximum or the minimum value. And it is the y-coordinate of the vertex. It is the vertical limit of our parabola. So how high or how low will be the limit or the maximum or minimum value of our parabola. So let's have an example. So for example, we're given this graph and we're going to identify the parts of this graph. So first is the vertex and the vertex is located here. So the coordinate of our vertex is at 2, negative 1. Then let's identify the axis of symmetry. To get our axis of symmetry, we will just get the x coordinate of our vertex and place it in our equation. So x is equal to 2. Okay? Then our x intercept, let's identify the part of the parabola that passes through our x axis. So we have two points. So we have 1, 0, and 3, 0. And for our y intercept, Okay, let's look at our y-axis and identify what part of our parabola intersect our y-axis. So it is located at the coordinate 0, 3. And to get our maximum and minimum value, let's identify what are we going to get, maximum or minimum. So let's look at the graph. Since our vertex is at the lowest, we will get the minimum value. So our minimum value is located at the y-coordinate of our vertex. And what is our y-coordinate of our vertex? It is negative 1. This will be the parts of our quadratic function. Alright, let's have another example. So for example, we're going to get the parts of this quadratic function. So first, let's identify our vertex. So our vertex is located here at 0, 4. Now, we will get our axis of symmetry and our axis of symmetry will intersect our vertex. So to get that, we will just get the x-coordinate of our vertex and place it, place it as an equation. Our axis of symmetry will be x is equal to 0. Let's identify our x-intercept. So it is located here. It will have a coordinate negative 2, 0 and 2, 0. Now, for our y-intercept, okay, our y-intercept is also our vertex, so we will have 0, 4. Okay, it is possible for us to have the same y-intercept and vertex. Let's get our maximum and minimum value. So, let's identify what are we going to get, maximum or minimum. Let's look at the graph. So, since our graph is opening downwards, our vertex is on top, so we will have or we will get the maximum value. It is the y-coordinate of our vertex, which is 4. That's it. All right, let's have another example. Let's get the parts of our quadratic function. So first, let's get the vertex. So our vertex is at negative 1, negative 1. Now let's draw our axis of symmetry. So our axis of symmetry will be the x-coordinate of our vertex. So x is equal to negative 1. Take note that it is a line so it should be in the form of an equation. Next is our x-intercept. Our x-intercept is located at negative 2, 0 and 0, 0. Next is our y-intercept. So our y-intercept is going to be that one. Okay, it's located at the point 0, 0. So take note that our 
origin is located at both x axis and y axis yeah and our maximum or minimum value so we will get the minimum value because our vertex is at the bottom is at the bottom of our parabola so we will get the y coordinate of our vertex which is negative one and that's it let's have another example for example we're going to get the parts of a quadratic function in this graph so let's get the vertex so our vertex is located our vertex is located at negative 2 2 now let's draw our axis of symmetry so to get our axis of symmetry it is the x coordinate of our vertex so it is x is equal to negative 2 and then our x intercept if you can see and if you can observe our parabola did not intersect our x-axis therefore we will have an answer that is null or empty or none we don't have any x-intercept so it is possible for us to have no x-intercept for a parabola next is the y-intercept so the y-intercept will be located at 0 4 so we have our y-intercept let's get our maximum and minimum value so we will have the minimum value because our vertex is at the lowest point of our parabola. Okay, so to get our minimum value, we will just get the y coordinate of our vertex, which is 2. That's it. Let's have our last example for today. So let's have this graph and let's identify the parts of the quadratic function. So let's get the vertex it is located here okay at the point one zero next let's draw our axis of symmetry our axis of symmetry is again the x coordinate of our vertex so we have x is equal to one and for our x intercept we have only one x intercept and that is the vertex which is one zero Okay, it is also possible for our vertex to be our x-intercept. Okay, and next is our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is located here at 0, negative 1. Now, to get our maximum or minimum value, so we are getting our maximum value because our parabola is opening downwards. Therefore, our vertex is at the top. Therefore, we are going to get the maximum value. So our maximum value, we will just copy the y coordinate of our vertex. And that is zero. That's it. Now that you already know how to identify the parts of a quadratic function given the graph, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace!